Bro, let me start off. Let me start off by saying, hold on. Let me let me see this. Let me see. No, 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 no. For, I know the sign is what we're gonna show, but oh my god, that hat, that hat is the haters are gonna sexy, hate. Sexy. <laughs> the haters. We got Anthony from Carrera, guys. Again, look at that nice little sign. They, guys, you guys are back. Listen, so I've been hearing some stuff. Not hearing some stuff. I, you know, I get tipped off all the time, but I see that you guys are doing some interesting work and trying to also help bring back another amazing brand that was known in the market. So before we even mention the brand, let's go and look at what we got going on there. You know, we've we've discussed the Carreras and all the things that you guys got going on, but I think it'll be important for them to see this part of it. Um, we dedicated this bay just for them. Just all for them. Molds, okay. The so these are all the molds that you guys are restoring? For that one size boat. We'll have other ones we're gonna be restoring. Okay. This is for the 28 footer. And this, say the brand. Th th don't say the brand yet, let them. Okay, so this is a hard top? This is a hard top, it's a hard top. Wow, you guys had to put this on a dolly, huh? To, to, to get it in here? Yeah. All right. You still gotta come in and fix a few parts on it. So that's a hard top? Start with the main system. <laughs> System. Okay, you think some people might already know what kind of brand, what brand it is once they see this here? May, may a, lot of, a lot of people have been talking. <laughs> All right, so so ex explain explain this whole system here. Well, this is going to be this is like a skeleton of the mold. This is a stringer system. Instead of doing individual stringers and laminating, this is a mold for it. Once they pop this out, it already comes with all the stringers and mold kits as a part of it. So this is like the skeleton of the mold. A little more difficult to make, a lot easier to put together. Okay. Makes a very strong construction, very good construction. It's a nice finish, the build all has a finish already once it pops out. Now of course we got the Carrera team as you see. They're the ones that are putting it together, making this happen. So how much longer before you get that mold ready, Anthony? For the strainer system? Yeah. Uh, by the end of the week. Should be ready to start laminating on that. Nice. All right, so. At the hall, guys, come check this out. And how big is this hall? This is a 28 foot, but a 10 foot beam. Pretty wide. It's a nice fishing boat. 28 foot, 10 foot beam. Let me tell you, the camera doesn't translate how how beamy it looks. Um, so, I, I noticed something. Here, when you're, in, you're when you're doing these, you're filling all the strakes now. Yes. And I saw that you have some Kevlar on the strakes. All the strakes. So, Straight down the middle of the boat, all the way to the back, and all the strakes have Kevlar. That's a different color. Okay? Yes. That's that different color you're looking at there, that yellowish. Wasn't there a piece of Kevlar here? I want. I would like to sure. them to yeah, see that. Here. Maybe you have something in the garbage or something. To okay, 1708, right? Yeah. Okay, fiberglass, 1708. Uh, this will be chopped. Chop. Okay. chop, okay. Kevlar, all right. Uh, much thicker and stronger, you yeah. know. Depends on the application. They both have, um, I guess, their advantages, right? Yeah. This is just when you combine them both together, it, it makes it even a more. Yeah. A stronger, yeah. It is going to be a heavy duty addition, yeah. Okay, and then all the strengths they all get filled in. This is RJ 2011. So, if everything all is filled in, get filled in, and they get glassed over. Everything's super solid on the boat. This is what we call a well built boat. Now, Remember that. <laughs> how, how many, how many coats? Uh, of fiberglass and, and layers would you say? This bowl, once it pull, it pops out of the mold, are you gonna have on there more or less? It'll be about six layers. Six layers. Okay. Six and layers. So so you you have <laughs> you're not gonna have no no side walls, you know, on no, the no, boat. No no no. This is this is <laughs> flimsy or nothing. This is gonna be solid. One of those boats that you hit on the side and you'll be like, oh, they made this well. No, they put a. Uh, 
The manufacturers still have the same name, but they added Pro too. That's because they got pros building it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So listen. Now, now that we're we're showcasing some of this stuff, I think it's appropriate that you can go ahead and say the manufacturer that you, Carrera is going to start, you know, building as of 2019 and bringing this brand back. What what's the, what's the what's the old brand? Angler. Okay. So you guys are bringing back the old Angler, but now it's Angler Pro. Now it's Angler Pro. Good. Pro. <laughs> okay. So the people at Carrera are are helping Angler bring back some of these amazing boats. And Angler is a really recognized brand down here in South sure Florida. Is. And in a lot of places, a lot of people like that brand and the yeah. family has worked really hard to go ahead and make that name. And it's, 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 it's actually fitting to see you guys work these boats because between you and Al, the quality and the finishes that you guys are doing are, are, are on their own level and you'll see it in the molds. And I wanna show some of the molds for this that you guys have already worked sure. so you can show them how well they're worked because you guys like to fix things in the mold and not out of the mold you know that's, that's the way to do it guys that's the key some 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 companies will like to fix stuff after the fact and where the value is and the best uh, craftsmanship is within the mold yes, sir. so all right so explain some of this rj that they're using on here so some of the people that may not know not all companies do this um, this is going like going the extra mile for all the straights. Once we fill this in with the RJ, and of course they glass over it, you have the Kevlar under with the glass and the RJ is a super solid straight. So if this boat was ever to impact rocks or anything out of the ocean, it's not a type of boat that's going to crack the bottom. This is super solid. This is the way you want your boat built. And now, once once they fill all this with the RJ on the straights, you guys will put the Kevlar. Well, or, the Kevlar or, goes under. It, it goes the Kevlar is already in. Okay. You can see it on all the streaks. Okay, so it goes down the middle, all the way down. The so middle. then the 1708 goes after the fact. Correct. Now the 1708, then I can't tell you the rest of the procedure because. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then you're gonna give everybody all the tricks. All right. Can't get it all, the way. <laughs> all right. All right. So look, let's Anthony. Let's go. Let's go see some of the molds. I want them to sure. see the molds real quick. Let's go let's over. Let's check out the liner. I'll show you the liner and see oh, what we did there. Oh, okay. Go. Cool. Good. Yeah. All right. So show me the liner. Anthony. Come on, guys. Okay, what well, look, this is basically this is this is this is the cat flat cat 21, right? Mold. 21 flat cat. Okay. Get ready to pop two of these out now. This is one handle wax, and we're ready to go. So you're missing one one coat now? One what? coat of wax. And we're ready to go. Last coat. And this is the liner of that 28 this footer. This is the liner for the 28. We repaired the mold. Did a few little modifications to it. Now we're ready for production with it. Now, what's this? What's this particular boat? What do, do have they said what it's going to be called? Angler Pro. But it, so it's going to be the Angler Pro Twenty Eight. Yes. Okay. So, all right. And when do you? You just recently popped this one off because I, I it, popped this one out two days ago. All right. So. I'm showing the mold first, and now I'm going to show the liner, so they can see. Now, how how many modifications compared to the old 28 is there going to be once once somebody sees this boat? Well, the boat's pretty much the same. The way we're building is was changing. We're making them a little stronger. The finish is probably going to be a little nicer. Um, we brought over the whole mold, make sure that everything is 100 percent. We eliminated a hatch out in the back. That was there for no reason. He has some defects in it, so we cut it out. He has a new hatch that's coming in. And um, other than that, we're ready to go. We'll see this in the water soon. All right, so listen, we're going to get some more of the process. When are you going to be popping st other stuff off of this so we can show them that at some point? Uh, we have the hall that's going to be coming out soon. The hall we're going to pop out in the next couple days. Okay, and we're, what we'll do is we'll get some video of that so they can see that. Sure. And then they can see how it just comes directly out of the hole as it happens so that people can see, awesome. you know, yeah, what's going on. Guys, I want to thank people, the people here at Carrera uh, for giving us the, the inside information. And obviously the people at uh, Angler Pro that are allowing this to be shown. Yes. So this is great, guys. Angler is back. Carrera is back. Well, Angler Pro is back.
<laughs> All right. Anthony, anything else you want to tell? Bro, how, guys soon. how good is that hat? How good is that hat? Look at that. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> oh! Uh. We're out of here, guys. Carrera doing it. The man called me back. Thank you so much for calling me back. Why did he call me back, guys? You know why? Because we had somebody that wanted to go check up on his boat. And uh, who's that gentleman? Why don't you introduce who, were we, who were we were talking about when we didn't want to talk about the brand earlier? Anthony, who do we got? Chris, owner. Hello everybody, how you guys doing out there? From what, what's the name of the brand? Angler Pro Boats. Angler Pro Boats. Yes, so, so, Chris is in the family of Angler, which years ago, can you kind of elaborate uh, or just kind of give an idea of what ended up happening? I know some issues that happened with the company that your father had passed away and you were in your early 20s and whatnot and, and now we, we're starting to see somewhat of, you know, the Angler brand coming. Obviously, it's different because it's a different entity, but can you elaborate a little bit on that and what's going on with that? So it's a totally whole different company. We re revamped everything. We modified some of our molds. We kept the best of the molds. We continued many models. We've changed all the lamination schedules of all of our boats. We've changed the quality of all of our boats from fiberglass to resin to gel coat to hardware. We only use the top of the line materials on all of our boats. So again, from our bilge pumps, we use the top of the line. 316 stainless steel, you know, we're laminating. We have the best people, we're the best crew here. We have uh, Anthony over here from Carrera that's helping us out, you know. We have, uh, we have the best people here. Without them, this wouldn't be possible, you yeah. know. We have, they're qualified. And we, yeah, I was showing some of their work earlier when you weren't yeah. here. Um, and, and we were talking about and showing like from the Kevlar yeah. to, to, to Kevlar I mean, reinforced hulls is very important. Our Dutch R28, which is our flagship model currently, which we're working on other things in the future, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll tell you we'll tell you a little bit about that later. Oh, so so I'm 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 interested. I, I mean I've been doing some videos and, and seeing the guys here at Carrera do some work. So what made you want to work with the people of Carrera? What what? What drove you to want to do work with them? Let's step out here so they can hear you a little bit better. Um, so what, 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 what was it that said, look, I want to work with these guys in Carrera. I kind of think I know the answer, but I, I just want to know your thinking behind that. I actually uh, met up with uh, the owner of Carrera. His name is Al. Very, very nice guy. Uh, very down to earth and honest. Very hard to find nowadays. Um, and we met up. Al actually ended up purchasing one of uh, one of the Angler Angler 26 original mold. He ended up doing their was part of the Carrera family now, and uh, he wanted he needed some help and stuff with the with the 26. I told him, listen, whatever you guys need, I'm here to help you guys. And uh, so we've co we decided to like come together to help each other out in this industry with my connections, with his expertise, with the right crew. I believe that we can build something and make something happen in this uh, oncoming future of ours. Yeah, look, um, I'm really, one of the things that I talked to Al and, and Anthony about is, is the quality, you know, ultimately, um, you know, the smaller companies always, you know, they, they, they get a little dirtier because they don't have to produce as much. You guys were mass producing in the past. I mean, how many boats were you guys doing at Angler when your dad was running that company? We More, were, that company was doing approximately about 36 boats a week. A week. Yes. So, so, uh, um, what what's your vision for for Angler Pro now? And My vision now is to up the quality to the highest possible standard and come out with the best fit and finish using the quality materials that's going to allow us to gain that quality. So we're looking now to maybe produce around maybe five boats a month max now. Keep it nice and small. Attention to detail and attention to quality is going to be our main thing now. Attention to detail and quality. That is what's going to make the boats go out there. It's going to last. It's going to show which with the quality of the materials we're using is going to show all that. Awesome. Look, let's go take a look real quick at some of the... I know they, they already put the mold. They, they, they took it out. Um, so well they made it flat because they just laid down the material for the transom okay um and if you're ready to do the transom the next couple days we drop the transom in tomorrow's gonna go through the foam process and start laying down all the foam inside 
Right now. Now, you think Sorry. I can step on this here? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Let, let me see. Let me see. That's meant for it. Put it on there. I definitely want to get in. Let's see. I want to, I want to show, show that. Right. You got it there? Yeah, I got it there. See that, guys? And this, we were recording this earlier. So one of the things I was telling Anthony about this particular model, Chris, and you said you said this is this is going to be your flagship. This that is, is currently our flagship right now. Uh, this okay. is our 28 with a 10 foot beam at 24 and a half degree dead rights at the transom. Okay, so so you guys had this boat in the market at some point. Well, the mold similar to this, but it's yes. been modified somewhat. Yes. Okay, what are some of the modifications that you guys have done to it? We've modified a lot of uh, the whole lamination schedule. All, all the from everything from the stringers to our actual fit and finish um, from all, all the composites everything has changed the quality of their resins to the accessories and the hardware used to create this beautiful machine so when when it's all said and done what are you guys planning on putting the twins on these trips well, this this one's going to take twin Yamaha 300s in white Tw twin Yamaha do you have a buyer for this yet or yes you do, so yes. you're gonna have this out for uh, somebody that's interested at this moment? Of course. And then you're just gonna go ahead and push it out and yeah. Carrero's yeah, gonna, gonna make this. Yeah, we're gonna take plenty of pictures and videos and stuff. We're gonna see if we can take it to a couple boat shows and get some publicity out there with this. And get well, some nice videos. Well look, um, I'm gonna work with Anthony. Anthony, we're gonna go ahead and do some videos of this when we pull it out of the mold and all that stuff. So yes, we sir. can go ahead and get some follow-up videos on this. Yep. Show the Angler brand here uh, at the Carrera factory. And I, I, guys, look, I think it's, it's, uh, it's a good partnership. It kind of resembles like that old school vibe that back in the days when your dad was around, everybody worked with everybody and you know, the hating was less. Everybody wanted to kind of help each other. <laughs> this social media game has got everybody like yeah, all stirred up. You don't know the haters and the hate, baby. <laughs> there you go. You, you know, know what? It's all right. We're out of here, Chris. All right. Grillo from nice. Angler Pro and Anthony from Carrera, guys. Thank you so much. Hey, stay tuned. The 28 Angler Pro, it's coming baby.